things got a little out of hand. During this encounter between one X's neo-humanoids and one of the world's most popular streamers, the high visibility moment could be just a glimpse of what's to come. One X is raising a shocking amount of money as it aggressively pushes the Android to market. The startup is making a name for itself outside the usual tech echo chambers as it aims for the masses. If things go as planned, you'll be able to have your own Neo sooner than you think. But as One X targets adoption in the millions in the not so distant future, competition is intensifying overseas and in the US, where a growing array of well funded firms are taking radically different approaches to bringing autonomous robots into daily life. While touring the Bay Area, the popular streamer I Show Speed had an eventful visit to the One X Technologies humanoid robot factory. This robot's freaky. Speed interacted with several of the startup's Neo Gamma humanoids, who were controlled with what looked like a mix of teleoperation and semi autonomous behaviors. The streamer, whose real name is Darren Watkins Jr., started the visit off by assigning one of the robots a new nickname. I'm gonna name him. Robert the Robot. Robert the Robot. You like your name, Robert? Double R, yeah. A Neo robot performed several tasks to showcase its real world usefulness. It vacuumed the floor on command, grabbed the sparkling water, and handed it to the streamer like a butler, and danced to Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. They also had an arm wrestling match, which Speed pretended to lose, and played Connect Four before things got weird. One X is reportedly seeking to raise a billion dollars as it races to mass produce its humanoids for households. The startup, launched in Norway in 2014 and headquartered in Palo Alto, hopes to push its valuation to $10 billion or more. It's facing stiffening competition from the likes of Silicon Valley based figure, which just closed a billion dollar Series C fundraising round for a valuation of $39 billion. One X launched the latest iteration of Neo earlier in 2025, with enhancements including a whole body controller for human like walking, squatting, sitting, and dynamic balance during everyday tasks. One X says Gamma's hardware is 10 times more reliable than its previous iteration, Neo Beta, which was introduced in summer 2024. The robot is also capable of general purpose manipulation with its five finger dexterous hands. Its aesthetics are inspired by Japanese design with a soft, knit outer shell covering its 32 kilo frame to minimize the risk of injury during mishaps like this. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Oh. Its so called emotive earrings light up and change color to signal the robot status and feelings. The humanoid is powered by One X's self developed Redwood AI model. The 160 million parameter transformer model combines vision, touch, and body movement data. It's trained on a mix of tele operated and real world actions from its Neo and Legacy Eve humanoid robots, which went viral last year when popular Twitch streamer Kai Sanat featured them in his live streams. According to One X, the Redwood model runs fully on board with no cloud connectivity required. Its engineers are developing the model so one X humanoids can eventually enter homes and get to work right away. Early deployments are expected to rely heavily on teleoperation, which Speed experienced firsthand when he donned a virtual reality headset to see through the robot's eyes and directly control its movements. The startup is reportedly exploring opening teleoperation centers where human staffers will be on standby whenever a robot encounters something its autonomous capabilities aren't yet ready for. Over time, the data from those interventions would help train the Redwood model, gradually weaning the machines off human backup. The idea is similar to how robots are deployed in factories, which is simpler because the environments are more structured and predictable. Teleoperation is much trickier in homes because operators must adapt to far more variety. There are also greater privacy concerns since remote staffers might see private moments, children, and sensitive documents. There are also legal unknowns. If a teleoperated humanoid is used in the commission of a crime, 
the company could also face scrutiny. One X is taking a unique path in leaning on teleoperation at scale. Tesla is betting on a vision-only imitation learning approach, cutting humans out of the loop as much as possible by having its Optimus robots learn from huge datasets of human activity. And Figure is taking an AI-first approach, using its in-house Helix model to link vision, language, and action to train its robots through both large-scale simulations, motion data from human demonstration videos, and hands-on practice in the real world. Google DeepMind is also taking the AI-first route. Its Gemini robotics model acts as a digital brain that can perceive, plan, reason, and then direct robots throughout complex multi-step tasks. According to DeepMind, the system thinks before acting, can explain reasoning in natural language, and can even transfer skills across different robot bodies. Alphabet's artificial intelligence wing is partnering with robotics firms like Aptronic and Enchanted Tools to accelerate the push of smart robots into daily life. And in Pittsburgh, the unicorn startup Skilled AI is developing a universal robot brain that works across form factors. The startup, which was launched by Carnegie Mellon professors in 2023 and is already valued at $4.5 billion, just shared this footage of a unitree quadruped quickly adapting despite having its legs sawed off at the thigh. Speed's visit is the latest indication of the streamer's interest in robotics. All right, guys, this is the most advanced robot in China. Earlier in 2025, he linked up with Shenzhen-based Engine AI, dancing with its PM1 humanoid robot during his much-publicized tour of China. He's also gone viral with a flame-throwing robotic dog that reportedly cost 100 grand, and for this weird interaction with a now-defunct Moxie social robot. More recently, he met Jake the Rizbot, a customized version of Unitree's G1 that uses a mix of remote control and AI to engage with people in public. However, he left 1X saying Neo is the most advanced bot he's met yet. While Speed referred to Neo as a million-dollar robot, 1X is aiming for a price point similar to a modest new vehicle when it officially hits the market. As 1X aims to scale to thousands of Neo humanoids deployed in the real world in the next few years, Las Vegas-based Robotics is already offering its hyper-realistic androids for prices ranging from 20 to more than 175 grand. The AI and robotics firm's flagship humanoid, Aria, just interacted with hundreds of people in Times Square. Though Robotics is having an eventful 2025, it's just the latest in a decades-long journey that began in the hidden corners of the internet. For more on the fascinating story of Robotics, check the related video.